Hey everybody, Matt Reisinger, Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here in a new construction house in Westlake. My company just finished. A beautiful house we did with uh, Barley and Pfeiffer Architects. And uh, joining me today is James from Austin Generator Service. Thank you, sir. James, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. So we're talking about uh, backup power. We've got a, a standby generator on this project. Um, this is a Kohler system. It's a uh, 14 kW generator. And uh, James, if you'd give me a little tour of this, um, I would uh, love to hear your thoughts about it. All right, Kohler system, 14 kW, runs off natural gas. Natural gas is usually good in uh, power outages, because power goes out, natural gas stays on. Because natural gas is run underground, correct James? Yes, natural gas is run underground. And here in Austin, we've got a lot of overhead power. In fact, you may be able to see the power lines behind me. Those are running on uh, in a lot of places in Austin, uh, in between property lines where there's a lot of trees. And so you, you don't even need necessarily a hurricane uh, to knock out power. We're talking uh, very easily in Austin. A wind event, uh, a storm can knock a branch down and knock power out to a whole neighborhood pretty easily. And so a system like this is really going to be a nice backup for these clients. So I'm sorry, James, I cut you off. So natural gas, so this is a, a natural gas polar engine. Natural gas polar engine. Uh, basically, the event of a power outage, the generator starts, spins an alternator using a direct drive shaft, and transfer switch on the wall, transfers your power, and then you're on backup. Awesome. Pretty nice. On a system like this, um, how much maintenance is there? Uh, does the does the system turn on and check itself very often? System turns on itself once a week and tests itself for 10-15 minutes. Maintenance is very little. You have an air filter, oil filter, oil, and spark plugs. That's, That's great. That's great. I always think of a Kohler generator as a real top of the line system. Can you give me any idea on what you think the longevity of a system like this might be? This system. As long as you take care of it, do your maintenance, it'll last you 10, 20, 30 years. That's great. Good deal. So. Well, show me, um, so the power is being generated here. How does that power go back to the house? Okay. You have utility power coming in. Mm -hmm. You have generator power here Okay. when the generator is running. And then you have your load side, which is feeding your power inside the house. Gotcha. And, and so it. that switch on the left is what is is actually what's switching. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this is showing a, uh, a pictograph here of a uh, of the power from the city coming in, and that's lit right now, which basically is saying, "Hey, look, our power is coming from the city of Austin currently." If this generator side is lit and that is dark, that means the power to the house is coming from the generator. A 14 kW system, James. How much load? Uh, would that be able to carry for a house like this? Would we be able to put air conditioners or You can put air conditioners on it. You can put heating and cooling on it. Um, usually when they come out to inspect the house and get your load readings, mm -hmm. they'll make assumptions of what size you need. Okay. So, Got it. But for this house, 14 kW is great. Is a 14 kW compared to other residential a small one or a big one? 14 kW is right in the middle towards the top. Okay. Great, so good deal. And uh, let's, if you don't mind, let's actually test it. Let's uh, let's fire up the generator and show uh, uh, let's show this thing feeding the house. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. to hear me on the video but then how do we switch the power uh, from the house going from the city now to the generator power it already switched oh it already switched okay already switched. Well, that cover makes a big difference. Very quiet. Yeah, very quiet. I would assume that cover helps a lot with rats and uh, other yes. vermin, things like yes. that. There's no 
probably rats on these units. Vice, uh, you know, stay out of it. Good to go. Thank you, James. Appreciate the tour, buddy. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.